Hey, what's up, guys? I'm from BSC Tech, and uh, today's video, as you have seen the topic and the thumbnail, that is about uh, command prompt commands uh, for a slower PC. If you are experiencing uh, issues with your computer or laptop, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, then uh, today's video is uh, designed in order to help you speed up your slow PC using the command prompt. Make sure you have administrative access before you start this guide. Uh, first of all, we will talk about uh, recognizing the signs. Uh, identifying a slow PC, which involves uh, observing certain signs. Uh, these include uh, slow boot times. When you turn on your PC, it takes uh, a lot of time to boot for the very first time. Then there is a lag in opening applications. For example, if you are trying to open an application, the response is very slow frequent freezes or crashes uh, then we have uh, extended loading time for websites for example uh, you're trying to open a chrome or uh, a different browser that take ages slow file transfer rate a major contributor when your system is running slow and finally we have uh, uh, obviously an outdated system so we will try to improve the speed using this guide when these symptoms uh, occur they indicate that the system may require attention. It could be different factors. So we'll uh, talk to talk about uh, we'll talk about that uh, one by one. First of all, we'll look at uh, the roots of the problem. Uh, there are several factors uh, contribute to sluggish computer performance, such as uh, uh, you might have uh, malware infections. Uh, malicious softwares uh, can also consume system resources, and uh, they can cause uh, erratic behavior. Then we have outdated drivers. Sometimes the old drivers are a primary reason for reduced compatibility and performance issues with application as well as uh, your hardware performance. Then we have a uh, fragmented hard drive. For example, uh, if you have an older PC which is still on the hard drive, not on the SSD, not on the NVMe, then fragmentations uh, lead to longer data retrieval times. As a result, you experience slow system speed. Then we have insufficient RAM, lack of uh, memory affects multitasking capabilities, which is a very common issue. In uh, major cases, uh, in most cases, uh, you should be able to upgrade your RAM and that will sort the problem as well. Uh, then we have uh, the final thought, which is addressing the underlying issues, uh, which will help restore optimal performance. So now we will talk about the effective solutions. Uh, first thing we need to do is run file system checker. Uh, the system file checker scans for uh, corrupted files and prepares them. You can use this command in command prompt. Make sure you have uh, administrative access. Let's copy this. I will add all these commands in the uh, description below. You can copy and paste from there. I've already done that. Remember, this will take some time. So this is the command you have to run. And if you paste this here, click enter. This is uh, going to start uh, or uh, the beginning starting scan. This process will take some time. Uh, beginning uh, verification phase of the system scan, 6% complete depending on your system speed. I uh, have an 8 gig uh, with uh, 512 uh, SSD on board, which means uh, my system is uh, an average computer and we have Windows 10 running on this system. You can see that it's an i5 uh, fifth generation with uh, four CPUs, uh, standalone 2.2 gigahertz each. And then we have uh, uh, the page profile, which is 6241 MBs uh, available. Let's move on to the next one. Meanwhile, uh, the system scan is running. So we'll let that run. Then we have uh, to perform uh, disk cleanup. That is very easy. You need to open command prompt and then uh, you need to type clean MGR. We'll keep this guide very simple and straightforward to understand. So let's get back there. It's 26% running. If we close this and then open CMD and open this as uh, administrator, that will take us. So clean manager. And then you will see plenty of files which are sitting uh, inside your C drive. 
So as you can see that the disk cleanup has started. Windows update cleanup, scanning and calculating and uh, you can see this on Windows update cleaner. We will clean all these files, Windows error. And there are plenty of other small files. We will clean all of these. 3.15 gig of storage consumed by these files. So we will remove them. And then we will move on to the next step, which is number three, checking disk for errors. So you need to use the following command, check disk. Again, if it's F drive, you can keep F drive. No, that's fine. If it's a C drive, you can keep C. So it will start scanning. Make sure that you type the right drive letter. For example, if we go on the desktop and uh, we go inside the PC, you can see that we have a C drive here. That's a specific drive. So we'll get back to the notes section and let this complete. So then it's going to take uh, some time again, 69%, depending on the system type and uh, the memory you have. Uh, this checks for file system errors, and if there are any found, it will prompt you for restart to fix them. So we'll leave it here. There's nothing there which can be sorted. It's all sorted already. Uh, that takes us to the step number four, which is uh, optimize uh, your drive performance. Defragmentation your hard drive uh, can improve access times. The defragment uh, command can be run as uh, this. So again, you have to replace the letter, drive letter. If you have F, C, B, D, whatever, invoking the defragmentations on C. And then that's it. Wait for the system to finish it. If there's any problem, it will tell us. And uh, then we will uh, take our guide towards the step number five, which is uh, speed up the startup. Again, as we mentioned earlier, this guide is based on uh, the CMD. So you don't have to do anything else. We need to open command prompt for uh, speed up startup. Then type MS configuration. Okay, defragmentation is completed. So we'll close this just for the sake of video. We want to go through all this. And uh, we will move it to this one. MS configuration. So now we need to go inside the startup. and disable unnecessary programs. I keep my system very limit, uh, very uh, minimal with all the apps. So you will not see anything here, but in the startup section, then we have general, then we have boot. So if you go inside the, the startup and open task manager, you should be able to see which apps are running in the background. Phone link, real talk and uh, Dr. Go and a couple of other things. But if you have a huge list, you can pick and choose from here. That will sort your problem. This takes us to solution number six, which is to update your drivers. Very easy and straightforward program. Simply go inside settings, update, Windows update, and check for updates. If there's anything, it will tell us. And if there's any additional driver, that will uh, appear on this update section. You can also click on the view history and if there's anything missing that will show us driver updates 38. So you can see that these drivers were installed. Definition updates and other updates. You can check all these sections and uh, should be able to update them straight from the settings. Uh, now we will talk about uh, the final step, which is uh, remove malware. This requires regular scans and Windows updates. Always keep your antivirus window defenders uh, active. Find any malicious software is installed on your PC and remove them if necessary. So 
that was the conclusion for this video on how to speed up your PC. Hopefully this will sort your problems. Uh, on a softer note, as a final thought, uh, with all these above steps, you should be able to fix and speed up your slow PC. As an additional note, you can always consider upgrading your hard drive with SSD and increase the size of the RAM. Depending on your usage, if you have a normal PC usage, for example, web browsing, light games and all that stuff, then definitely you should be able to. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, for more videos. Take care. Bye-bye.